Welcome people of the good life. This is Nariak from nariakmaps.com and in today's video I'm gonna teach you guys how to make customized creeper or any customized mob at all. So just watch what I do and as you guys can see in this video I'm going to flat world customization. I turn off the villagers and everything else is turned off because otherwise it doesn't work. Anyway, you go you can change the layers, it's all up to you. You can modify those, that's no problem at all. And you can also go to the game options, turn on host privilege, uh, you can turn off uh, mob spawning, weather cycle, uh, mob griefing, mob loot. Uh, it's all up to you, but that's just what I prefer to do. So let's go on to the world. First you wanna do uh, you wanna have a boat and also let's not forget about the bed because you will need to place the bed down and set a spawn point inside the world because if you do not do this the mod tool will not work so this has to be done you have to go sleep inside the bed to set the spawn point as you guys can see we just slept in the bed and now we are gonna place down a boat and you wanna go sit inside the boat so let's sit inside boat and all you want to do right now is go to exit game and press exit and save. You need to make sure to save the game because if you do not save it doesn't work obviously. Anyway let's go put the save file on the USB. So you go to save data utility PS3, you go to your map, press triangle, you see copy and you choose your USB device. That's how you copy your world to a USB device. So as you guys can see we put it on our device right now. So let's hop on the computer and check out the mod. So we open up Minecraft PS3 save tool and I would like to apologize for the crappy frame rate that you're seeing right here. Uh, my computer is kind of crappy and this screen recorder was kind of crappy as well. But you get the point. You open the save file with the PS3 save tool and then you go to the MBT Explorer uh, you have to open it and you go to file open and you choose your save file from your USB device uh, you can open it and as you guys can see it has extracted folder you, you open the folder and you choose your player that uh, it's the point that file so we have opened it right now and you go to the writing section it has 12 entries uh, you open it and you can see ID boat you wanna double click the ID boat and you wanna change the boat into creeper press ok so you have changed the ID from boat into creeper uh, that's basically what you wanna do so press the save icon uh, to save it and then you go to PS3 save tool press the save and exit button and you will close the MBT Explorer put the file back onto your USB device uh, so yeah let's hop back onto a PlayStation 3 go to save data utility PS3 uh, to make sure we can put the save on so choose the USB device and go to the modified map you press copy to PS3 it will ask you to overwrite the save file you choose yes two times because if you do not choose no uh, if you do not choose yes it will simply not work so you have to do it you have to override it anyway it's it's copying right now so let's start minecraft we're gonna open up the world and as you guys can see i am riding a creeper right now i'm on top of the creeper uh, do not press r3 because you will dismount and then it will not work so just all you have to do is exit and save again uh, to make sure it's saved uh, you will open some options so we go back to save data utility ps3 you go to your ps3 maps uh, and you will copy it to your usb device again choose your usb device it will ask to overwrite and you click yes to override it so we are putting the new save file on the usb and we have it on the USB right now so let's hop back onto the computer again 
and we are at the Minecraft PS3 save tool. We just open the file again, just like before. So we're looking for the save file. Uh, again, apologize for the derpy frame rate. So we go to the MBT and do it again. We open the save file again. We go to the extracted file and you choose the PSN dot that file and as you can see we have 26 entries right now at writing so there's a lot of new stuff added and as you guys can see we have this oh my god this this frame rate is just not good but you can see we have explosion radius um, we have fuse we have heal we have health we have hurt time invernable uh, leashed, la leashed on ground, persistence required, and we have portal cooldown. So there's a lot of customization going on right here. You can change a lot of stuff, uh, basically. Uh, but we're only gonna change the explosion radius for this tutorial video. But feel free to mess around with all the options for yourself and see what they do. For example, you can as we do right here the explosion radius we put it to 100 but uh, it's, it's basically how far the explosion goes from the creeper but we change it to 50 because we don't want to make it too laggy at all so yeah there's basically a lot of stuff that you can edit yourself uh, in these options basically the health uh, you can make the creeper very strong like a boss or something uh, uh, lots of other stuff I haven't looked in it too much myself but feel free to do it and check it all out anyway if you have done this you go to the save uh, icon again so you press the save and uh, then you go to the ps3 save tool press save and exit and you go close the MBT Explorer so let's hop back on Minecraft uh, on the PS3 so we add the USB inside the PS3 we go to save data utility PS3 you choose the USB device and you go to your modded world and you copy it over again to your PS3 and it will ask again to overwrite so you choose yes we're copying the, the save file right now onto our PS3 and we're gonna hop on Minecraft to check it out if it worked so let's check it out before we're gonna start the world I wanna turn on mob griefing and to make it sure I'm gonna turn on TNT explosions as well otherwise the mob doesn't really do any explosion damage so let's start the world and as you guys can see I'm on the creeper right now I'm hopping off and I'm gonna change the game mode into survival because we're in creative right now so let me do that we are in survival right now and watch how the creeper explodes and BAM I'm dead I forgot about being dead because we're in survival but hey I'm back alive and I'm gonna show you guys in creative how big the explosion is as you guys can see it's pretty big and pretty cool you can basically customize these creepers for adventure maps and all that stuff so yeah uh, I would like to give a shout out to Yoris Lull for checking uh, for making this tutorial possible so big shout out to him check him out I will put his channel in the description below uh, show him some love uh, please leave this video a like and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one peace out bye bye